Harry and Meghan announcing the birth of their daughter, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. They're going to call her Lily. She's the first senior royal born in America, and the couple shared the news after returning home from the hospital in Santa Barbara. Kaylee Hartung is there right now. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, George. Harry and Meghan managed to keep this happy news a secret for about 48 hours. Then they shared it on their own terms. The couple has said they hope to have kids close in age. Well, now big brother Archie has a baby sister just two years younger, and this family of four is complete. This morning, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are celebrating the arrival of their second child, daughter Lilibet Diana, Lily for short. Born Friday at 11.40 a.m. at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in California, weighing 7 pounds 11 ounces, Lily is the first senior royal born in the U.S. The family's newest bundle of joy named in honor of a pair of important women in Harry's life, Lilibet, a family nickname for his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, who couldn't pronounce her own name when she was little, and of course, Diana, for his beloved late mother. Meghan and Harry posting a message of thanks on their R12 site, saying Lily is more than we could have ever imagined, and we remain grateful for the love and prayers we felt from across the globe. The couple adding that mother and daughter are healthy and well, and are settling in at home in Montecito. The royal family, the Queen, Prince Charles, Camilla, William and Kate, all offering congratulations. The palace saying they are all delighted with the news of the birth of a daughter for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Relations between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the royal family have been recently notoriously strained. The couple accusing the palace of racism and callousness inside its walls in a bombshell interview with Oprah back in March. Meghan revealing insights into an apparent conversation before son Archie's birth in 2019. There is a conversation. Hold up. Hold up. There's Stop several right now. There are several conversations. There's a about conversation it. with you. With Harry. About how dark your baby is going to be potentially and what that would mean or look like. It was during that interview that the couple also announced they were expecting a daughter. When you realized that and saw it on the ultrasound, what, what, what was your first thought? Amazing. Just grateful, like, mm -hmm. any, to have any child, any one or any two would have been amazing, but to have a boy and then a girl, I mean, what more can you ask for? Some now wondering if Lilibet could help heal the royal rift. Nothing brings a family together like a new baby. And I think there's clearly so much joy about this baby's arrival. And particularly because they've included the royal family so much in her name, I think there's a real opportunity there for an increase in reconciliation. And as Harry and Meghan are flooded with congratulations, they say for anyone inquiring about sending gifts, they encourage you to support or learn about organizations helping women and girls like Harvest Home, Girls Inc. or Camp Fed. George. Kaylee Hartine, thanks. Let's bring in our royal contributor, Owen Scobie, right now. He joins us from Buckingham Palace. Owen, what more do we know about how Mom and Lily are doing this morning? morning, George. Well, yes, as we know from Harry and Meghan's team, they're at home, very happy. And I would imagine a lot of that happiness comes from, from, from the fact that they had two days of keeping this news to themselves. They were able to have that private moment at the hospital and then, of course, come home and celebrate before sharing it with all of us. Well, this is the first time we're seeing a high-profile father in the royal family take a family leave. Yeah, you know, we're so used to seeing uh, royal men uh, heading back to work almost the next day, sometimes the same day. We've seen uh, senior royals on engagements almost the same times of birth. But Harry and Meghan are sort of leading by example with their Archwell Foundation. They offer up to 20 weeks parental leave for mother and father. They're doing exactly the same. So it'll be several months off work for the pair of them. Do you buy this argument that the naming of the baby is something of an olive branch to the royal family? I don't know about an olive branch, but I think it certainly shows just how close they have always been with the Queen. They've both spoken so warmly about that close relationship. And of course, naming their daughter Lilibet or Lily for short is such a sweet nod to the Queen. It shows how close they are and how, con how continually close they will be with the Queen moving forward. And how's the news being received over there overall? Generally, there's a feeling of excitement. You know, we've had a year of sort of up, a lot of tensions and ups and downs with the royal family, particularly after the sad news of Prince Philip's death. So I think celebrating the arrival of new life has everyone very excited and perhaps forgetting about some of those darker moments that the Sussexes went through over the past year. It's a lovely event to celebrate. Okay, Omid, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.